from Chris Six Sports, this is Friday Night Fever, sponsored by Thomas J. Henry. Hi, good evening, everybody, and welcome to the playoff edition of the Friday Night Fever. Now, when the playoffs began five weeks ago, 26 of our local schools qualified for the postseason. And on this night, the Flower Bluff Hornets found themselves the only team still standing, playing uh, in their first ever semifinal game in school history. They took on Katie Pato up in San Antonio. On that throw, we find Patrick Johnston and Roland Rodriguez with your full game coverage. And Patrick is standing by with your full game coverage. Take it away, Patrick. Yeah, Alan, a historic game for the Hornets. First ever state semifinal game and didn't go quite the way they planned it. Let's take a look at the first half highlights. The Hornets trying to continue the historic run, knowing they face a tough test in these KD Paytow Panthers defense. Solid early. Connor Tyler and Aiden Tovar tackle for the loss on third down. The Hornet defense forced a punt and a field goal, but on a Hornet punt, it's Cole Wilson returning it for the touchdown. That puts the Panthers up 10 to nothing. Offense trying to come back. Nash Viegas intercepted by Kentrell Webb. He's going to break a tackle, find some yardage, eventually gets pushed out around the 20-yard line. A few plays later, it's Demarion Phillips getting the handoff, barreling through the Hornets' defense into the end zone for the score. It is 17-0 early in the first quarter. In the second quarter, much of the same first play of the quarter, Jacob Brown takes the pitch in for a short touchdown. The Panthers with a 24-0 lead going to add to it. Not much later, it is Brown once again getting the hand up. Up the middle and in for the score. 31-0 at that point. But the Hornets are not going to roll over in this one. The offense starts to get going. Viegas Pass to Tyler, gets some blocking, and he has a breakaway about 35-yard gain. And that's going to set up the Hornets offense. Villegas into the end zone for Christopher Geiswhite. Puts the Hornets on the board, 31-7. An onside kick goes out of bounds for the Hornets, but the very next play, C.J. Dumas, the deep pass off play action, and it's Wilson behind the defense in for the score. The Panthers had a 52-7 lead at the half. And from there, the Panthers would just cruise to victory. Your final from Heroes Stadium, 73-14. That knocks Flower Bluff out of the playoffs. And is our last Coastal Bend team in the playoffs after the game. Spoke to coach Chris Steinbrook. He had nothing but good things to say about his opponents, and he praised his team, especially the senior class. The year before, we graduated 38 seniors, so we didn't have a lot returning. And uh, the, the seniors that we had, man, they were tremendous leaders throughout, throughout the season, and uh, really, really proud of them. And the way they persevered and battled adversity throughout the year and to get us to this point, uh, obviously we, we were outmatched tonight in every phase. Um, they've got a phenomenal football team, but, yeah, just so proud of our program. and. Uh, uh, going to cherish a lot of memories from this group. And so a historic season comes to an end for the Hornets. They finish the year with a record of 12 and 3. Coming up after the break, Roland will join us talking about the process of getting here. It takes a whole village to get the team down to San Antonio. We'll be right back.